I'm Melanie Smith, the owner and founder of Solo Select Horses. We're very excited to introduce the newest component of our business, Select Jeans. The easiest way to understand Select Jeans is to see it. So today we're here at Lazy E Ranch with Dr. Carly Turner to show you guys the step-by-step -step process of ICSI Aspiration. What we're gonna do to this bear is we're gonna aspirate her oocytes, which are her eggs, directly from her ovaries and send them to a lab to get fertilized. And that fertilization process we call ICSI, which stands for intracytoplasmic sperm injection. And that's just the fancy term for the way that we fertilize the egg in veterinary medicine and horses specifically. And we're gonna go in and I'm gonna find her ovary internally. And I'm gonna move everything important out of the way and I'm gonna bring it back to my ultrasound here. This is an ovary and those black circles are actually her follicles. The follicle is the egg or oocyte's home. So you can't actually see the egg or the oocyte on the ultrasound or by the naked eye. It's microscopic, it's just one cell. But we know that there's a single egg in each one of those follicles. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in each follicle and we, it's kind of a blind scrape, so the eggs are attached to the wall of the follicle, and we're just hoping that we're gonna use our good technique and get a little bit lucky and get as many eggs out of those as we can. So this procedure, like I said, has come a long way. It's really cool. Um, first, we started doing it on older mares that had problems or stallions that were deceased and had a very limited amount of semen, but it's improved a lot. And now, because it's so easy on the mare and it only requires an hour of the mare's time, it's really great for mares that are showing, that you don't have time to wait a week to flush an embryo. And the best thing is we can do it in the off season. You know, we can do it all year round, every single month, December, November, as long as the mare has follicles. The next step in the ICSI process is finding our eggs or oocytes, which is the most exciting part. So you know how well you did and how many the mare gave us. And we're just gonna wash our oocytes. Like I said before, they are microscopic. So we can't see them right here. So we're gonna put them in this special dish and search for them under the microscope. So the oocyte is the egg that the mare makes and different mares make different numbers of eggs all the time. And so you just wanna kind of pick a mare that has a lot of follicles, which means she has a lot of eggs available to recover with aspiration. And the more eggs you get, the more likely you are to be successful and get more embryos. And then we're going to go pick them all up under the microscope and put them all in our little shipping vial. Wash a couple times. And since they're microscopic and hard to see, we're going to go back and just rinse really well here and then take a peek and make sure that nobody decided to stay here with us at the Lazy E. Because we want everybody to go on to the lab to be successful. And we're going to have a driver come and pick them up and take them to the ICSI lab. Tomorrow morning, their special embryologists will open them up and they will wash them again and they will put them in a special fluid or media that mimics the mare's ovary. And it's gonna tell all of them that they've been chosen to be the one that's gonna be ovulated. And then the next day after that, they're gonna thaw some semen or use fresh semen, most of the time frozen semen and they'll pick one sperm. They're gonna pick the best looking, most beautiful sperm that they can find for each of those oocytes that they're going to fertilize. And they're gonna, they have a really fancy microscope. It's like playing a video game and they're gonna pick it up in these little microscopic tips and they're gonna hold that oocyte still and they're gonna put that sperm right in there. So Melanie, I am excited to be on another adventure with Solo Select. Mm -hmm. I've gotten to be a part of what you guys have been doing over the last couple of years. And this might, this might take the cake. This is a big opportunity for people. We feel like this is a great um, service that we can offer both to the general public and to our customers that have mares with us. The general public can come on there, research the mares, research what they've produced mm -hmm. with, pick a stallion, whether it's their stallion or an outside stallion, and truly have a custom creation of their own. This really gives them access to genetics that they've never had mm -hmm. the opportunity yet. You know, a lot of people will have to go buy an own daughter that hasn't done anything just because that's what, within their budget. But this gives them the opportunity to buy uh, eggs out of an own daughter that maybe won 100000 for even less than what an own daughter that hasn't won anything would cost. So it's a really great opportunity for people to have access to mares without owning a huge number of them or having a big investment tied up in them. 
How have you come up with which, what mares to offer to the public? So we have gone through not only our own mares, but our customer mares and found mares that we feel uh, serve a variety of needs within different disciplines. So we're gonna have race mares, barrel horse mares, rope horse mares, cutting and cow horse mares. There's gonna be a little bit of something for everybody. We've just tried to find the mares that we think truly signify the very best, but also fit within different budgets. So really everybody can come in and play. No matter which level you wanna start at, everybody can play. And those that own stallions that want access to good mares, this is an opportunity for them as well. Correct, so um, a lot of the interest that I've had for this has been people that own a stud and once again, may not be able to afford to go buy a six digit mare, but really wanna give their stallion the best chance of being a producer. So this gives them the opportunity to go in, uh, have all the research right in front of them. What, what does this mare produce best with? It's just gonna be some really unique opportunities for people to really promote their stallion in a different way than just pasting them on Facebook and putting pictures and videos or breeding them to 20 mares that haven't done anything. Right. Um, I just think it's gonna be an exciting way for people to get their stallions proven in their chosen industry. Now that I have both some of my own mares and really great customers that have bought some of the best mares in the industry, I feel like we can share the love a little bit. Yeah. Like we can give everybody that opportunity. Um, so that that's really where a lot of this came from is I just want people to have access to what I consider the very best in genetics to create their dream bowl.